Hey, I'm Tom Gozi. This week on Hot and Cold, we're in our project house because we're getting ready for kitchen cabinets. Couple of problems we've had in this kitchen. What a surprise, we've had problems in the project house. I know you find that hard to believe. This wall, which is where the kitchen cabinets were, cabinets have all been taken out. We're dealing with the old wiring, which is really exciting. This wall was leaning in about two inches. You have to have a straight, flat wall, relatively speaking, when you put cabinets on. Otherwise, the doors swing open, hit you in the face. Not a good thing. So what we've done is we've taken foam, which is tapered. And here's an example. It's thick at the bottom, thin at the top. And we've been able to use it. It's the right amount of taper to make the wall what we call plumb, in other words, straight. So what we have down at the bottom of the wall, we have two and a half inches. Top of the wall, we have one and a half inches. We've got two by fours laying flat, screwed in place. We're going to put foam in between here. And why do we do all this, you ask? Well, I'll show you why. We have our remote reading temperature device. If we measure the temperature on the wall, it's reading the room temperature, which is 66 degrees. That's what we want. A good insulated, a well insulated house. The surface of the wall will be the same temperature as the room. If we go over here where the window is, it's uh, 50 degrees. It was reading 49 before, obviously, we're in a heat wave. Big temperature difference. That big temperature difference is your money going out the holes in the side of your building. So you need to make your building tight. I, we talk about this a lot because it's your money that you're wasting if your building is not well insulated. This is an old house. It's been cobbled together. There's been all kinds of holes in these walls. When I took the cabinets out, I could feel the cold air coming in. And then I came back here yesterday and this room was so cold. I hadn't changed anything except I took the cabinets off, which were just kind of buffering the cold winds coming in. So that's why I, I got on the stick here and I've got all the foam up here and we're going to finish this wall today. And I decided we're even going to do this wall because this wall is pretty darn cold too. That's around 60 degrees. It should be 67, which is the room temperature. Anyway, you see stuff like this all the time on Hot and Cold right here on ABC7, Sunday morning at 11.30 on Fox 22, 7 a.m. with the Weekend Warriors. We lead off the Weekend Warriors for a reason.